This is going to be another easy recipe, but very tasty. As long as you like smoked sausage, potatoes, cream, and cheese. That's everything that's here. And a little bit of potato flour, which I'm going to mix in with the heavy cream to give it a little body. Salt and pepper. Good sea salt. Pepper mix. Season it with that. And these round white potatoes, they work very well steamed. And that's what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to cut them into quarters, steam them. Put them in a casserole, brown up the sausage. Because it's already cooked, all you have to do is give it color. Brown it up, put it together, mix the cream with the potato flour, pour it over, and smother it with cheese and then light the broiler. How simple. Cut the potatoes like so. Now I'm going to place them in the steamer. You don't have to cook the sausage quick or fast. That's a low flame. Non-stick. Nothing in the pan. No oil, butter, nothing. Just let them cook. Some of the fat will come out of it, which is good. And they have a nice color. And when the other side is done, that's finished. So how do you know when the potato is done? Yeah, a potato tester like this. You stick it in the potato. It only takes about 10-12 minutes in the steamer. Comes out easy, it's done. Or a little paring knife. In here, we're going to put the heavy cream. That's one cup. And... the potato flour. Instead of using a roux or cornstarch, I'm using potato flour. Blend this in. <coughs> Excuse me. And when it gets hot, it should thicken up a little bit. And also in there, we have to put some of the grated cheese. That noise is me getting the cheese out of the container which I should have had ready. And there you go. <coughs> Use a thick bottom pot if you're doing this. This is aluminum. It's thick. Nothing's going to scorch. Look at that. That's perfect. That one tablespoon with the one cup, thickened it up just right with the cheese, and one teaspoon of a salt and pepper mix, which is always nice to have, so you don't have to measure each. Each. You see, and we're done. This is done. Just put this off to the side. why I say easy. Easy. And we have to measure <coughs> the cheese that's going on top. Let me finish the potatoes and then we'll continue. Now into the cream mix I'm adding another half a cup because I want to make sure there's plenty of sauce for these two casseroles so that's three quarters I mean it's a cup and a half of heavy cream. <clears throat> and the potatoes are done. Like I said, very easy to test. That's how you test. As soon as it pulls out easy like that, we're all done.
Now let's put this together. So let me finish this up. There's the potatoes. Oh, so I went a little overboard. And this is what I have left. It's not a lot. You could put them in there, but I think uh, <clears throat> that's enough for my wife. Now the heavy cream. Make sure we give each person the same amount. See the perfect consistency of that cream? That's enough in that one. And what do we have left <clears throat> in the back there? Not much. I might just add it instead of throwing it out. Now the cheese. You just have to cover this. The amount is starting off with a cup. You gotta really cover this. You could put a slice of, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. Just put this, and we're going to top it off with a little either melted butter, just melted butter or clarified butter, or olive oil. And I'm using olive oil because I'm too lazy to melt the butter. That doesn't mean you're going to be too lazy. So as you see, there's plenty of cheese on there. We don't want to be cheap. Potatoes work well with the cheese, so does the uh, smoked sausage. There you go. And then on top, put a little bit of... <coughs> olive oil or, or butter it's nice using a squeeze bottle like this and that's it now I'm going to put it under the broiler brown it and then serve it so at this point you're not going to be using it. Keep it in here. A couple hours from now, you're having dinner, put it under the broiler. So I've had the broiler on for a few minutes. I'll just put this in there. Put the light on because this should work quickly. Well, it's only been... about two minutes. You have to place it just right under the broiler. But that's going to brown up quickly. Now, let's see. Beautiful. Now, bring that up on top. Look how nice that looks. Now I change my mind. Cook it and brown it and then later on just warm it up in the microwave or in the oven. Simple. And then add a little chopped parsley. Use fresh chopped parsley. And there you go. Now I think that was kind of simple and that's what I like to give simple recipes that taste good